queer family is a showing of art by indigenous artists. I'm here with Clinton, yeah. and he's got an installation here at the art gallery. Is there one simple, broad message behind your artwork that, that goes out uh, there? Or? Well, I'm talking, well, my meeting is um, in this work is bleach, um, white king um, bleach, um, domestic bleach. So, well, my work's always, or well, has been based around that, um, and I call myself the Black Queen, okay. and this is the White King, the bleach. So it's about the bleaching process, and um, the bleaching of, like, my existence, and Yeah, so I forth. guess it has um, a, a broader message, really, yeah. for the whole community. Yeah, and so it's not just a gay, queer thing, it's not just a black thing, it's about yeah. survival, and then it's about, um, yeah, being out there, being queer, being seen, being yeah. black and being proud and, and surviving. Yeah. Excellent. This is a bubble jet print of a photo that I had taken um, earlier this year um, north of Sydney, um, Crescent Head, and south of Crescent Head, which is near Cape Sea. Um, this particular area was very significant to the Aboriginal people of that country, of this land there, um, and that particular area all around the, this um, see that you see um, there were um, sea um, middens and various sites and stuff and so I guess the Aboriginal people um, camped there and they lived on this land where they actually have this sign today no camping and I came across this area and it struck me as a beautiful like breathtaking landscape and beautiful uh, feeling of nature and the, the, the land and the ocean meeting and um, and very special place and that this sign struck me as almost like a figure in a way that's standing there presenting itself and saying something that really doesn't have any place in this landscape and actually it's in a way it um, it interrupts that view and it's almost like a figure standing there and I see it as yeah, um, part of the colonizing, part of the oppression of, um, of the country and of its indigenous people and of the people in general. Exhibition for Queer Family. How are you going? Yeah, good, thanks. A bit nervous. A bit nervous. <laughs> Tonight's the opening night of this exhibition. All the artists are here setting up. It's a great feel. Um, so. Just talk to me a little bit about what your background is. How long have you been doing art? Um, I've been studying. I started out like when I was six, um, just around the kitchen table with the family, yeah. um, doing drawings and sketches and stuff. And then after high school, like I didn't do any art in high school. And I'm, I originally come from Mildura, yeah. born and bred there. And um, I didn't want to leave to go after uni or anything. And the only thing that was like around for me to do was um, TAFE. Yeah. And there was this Koori Art and Design course. Okay. And it had like all my uncles and aunties and cousins and brothers and sisters all in there. So I thought, oh, well, I'm going to stay. It gave you a bit of direction. Yeah. yeah. And I d I, at first I just thought, oh, this is fun and games, you know. And yeah. we sort of did our stuff and mucked around a bit. And then it, I started um, improving a bit more and um, actually, like, you know, just grew and fell in love with what I was doing more yeah. and more and just stayed and just kept going. So probably eight and a half years all up now. Okay, and what are, what are the influences, the major influences behind your art? Um, standing here in front of one of your pieces of art. Yep. Uh, what's the title of this one? Has it got a title? Um, yep, it's called Feeling Proud. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's just all about um, youth, I suppose, um, indigenous, non-indigenous. Um, but a lot of the indigenous mob from where I come from back in Mildura, it's just about them like, yeah, feeling proud inside themselves and, and um, grasping that and, you know, not 
worrying about what anybody else thinks because it shouldn't be an issue. And I guess that if you're talking about that from the point of view of an Indigenous person, but it carries over into the queer community as well. Yep, for sure. Yep. yep. Um, you know, there's so many issues like when you're youth and when you're like from um, child going into teenage years and a bit older and it's, you know, it's hard, you yeah. know. And uh, I guess from my point of view, um, there wasn't really that many, um, you know, role models from up from where I come from in Mildura, yeah. you know, being isolated area. Yeah. Um, and I just thought, well, you know, I've, I've achieved this and done this, but, you know, it's not just for me. I want it for the other younger ones that are coming up because there's heaps of, like, Indigenous fellas up there, you know, yeah. Mimini's and fellas that are just growing up and don't know what direction they're going to take or what issues and don't know who they really are. Lisa B. I'm here with Lisa B. That's right. I don't know what the B stands for, but I'm running with it. At the Queer Exhibition, at the Queer Family Exhibition uh, for the Midsummer Festival. Now, can you tell us a little bit about your art that's here in, in the exhibition? Okay, well, I've got a series of photographs, which are from, mainly from slides. exhibition with the coordinator and one of the artists also featured in the exhibition, Kimba Thompson. Hi. Hi, how are you going? <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about the concept behind the exhibition itself? Um, I think when Midsummer approached me oh, the end of last year there, um, we kind of said, oh, an exhibition of um, Indigenous and or Indigenous as in Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander artists. Yeah. Um, we thought, oh, we're a, we're a mob and to us a mob is family anyway so yeah. I know there is a few other titles out there with queer family as their titles but um, I think you know we're a family within ourselves anyway yeah. so I suppose the concept there was yeah the queer family we are the queer family yeah um, okay so and basically Midsummer approached you and you've been running around like mad trying to set the whole thing up um, yeah, kind of working with Midsummer yeah. in coordinating it and applying for funding, etc., to get this exhibition up and running. But of course, the funding didn't come through the late. It was like yeah. one of those last minute things oh, shit, we got the funding. Oh my god, we better put in an exhibition. <laughs> okay. Yeah. How difficult was it to get all these great. I've been walking around looking at some of the artwork and it's fantastic. And I know that some of the people here, their names that I've heard around the community before. How difficult was it to get all those people together for one exhibition? Um, as a coordinator, you, you can say difficult. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I basically rang around to the mob and said, hey, there's a chance here that we could all exhibit together. And like a couple of names like myself and um, Lou Bennett, who yeah. don't usually exhibit within art exhibitions. Um, Lou being a musician and myself working behind camera and doing yeah. usually coordinating things. It's like we went, oh, wouldn't that be great for all of us just to actually, um, actually yeah, put something, put out, something there. out there and together, like yeah. as a community, I suppose. All, well, walking yeah. around today, I know that you've just been setting up, but it's looking like it's coming together really well. A couple of hours to go. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Some of the artwork is fantastic. T can you tell me a little bit about um, the work that you've got here in the exhibition? Yes, so I did a, a little video piece to the queer family and um, actually I didn't know what I was going to do. Well, I mean, coordinating something is one and actually going, oh, I've got to put some work in as well. Wow. Yeah. And I suppose a lot of my work is, um, I've got a little production company called Sister Girl Productions and okay. um, I do a lot of education and community videos and stuff and I think for a lot of people to come and see what I've put together behind my zipper door here, um, 
We love the zipper. <laughs> yeah. uh, we just represent another little camping, you know, yeah. in we go. Um, it's a bit out there. It's queer. Yeah. I'm a bit like, oh, that's a bit out of control. What other work have you got here? I've seen a few little uh, paintings, are they? Oh, yeah. 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 Cool. Two little steps Very there. interesting. I don't know if we're allowed to actually say the names of them on television. Uh, I, I think I that word You can say them. I probably have to edit them out afterwards. <laughs> but um, the three C's. The three C's. Yeah, they're well worth coming along and having a look at. And, so and the other one is mucha mucha mucha. Well, that one we can say. Yeah. Which also <laughs> represents the three C's. Represents the three C's. So come along and have a look because it's well worth having a look at. And uh, I think you've done a fantastic job. And I hope that it's a success for you and everyone else involved. Great. Fantastic. See you all there. <laughs> you.